So reportable transactions. You must file form 8886, reportable transaction disclosure statement to report certain transactions. You may have to pay a penalty if you are required to file form 8886, but do not do so. You may also have to pay interest and penalties on any reportable transactions under statements. Reportable transactions include number one, transactions the same uh, as or substantially similar to tax avoidance transactions identified by the IRS. So obviously the IRS looking for transactions that might be illegally trying to avoid taxes. And usually that's not going to apply to most people. You're going to report the transactions you know, properly and have an income statement that's reporting your proper income and expenses. But then you could have a reportable transactions in those situations, which again, hopefully is somewhat unusual. Transactions offered to you under a conditions of confidentiality for which you paid an advisor a minimum fee. Three, transactions for which you have or, or a related party has contractual protection against disallowance of the tax benefits. Four, transactions that result, result in losses of uh, at least $2 million in any single tax year, 50000 if from certain uh, foreign currency transactions or $4 million uh, in any combination of tax years. So these are usually more complex or high income uh, type of transactions, which again, you would think for most small businesses that are reporting like on a Schedule C might not you know, be applicable typically. Transactions the same as or substantially similar to one of the types of transactions the IRS has identified as a transaction of interest, meaning you would think the IRS is looking in on those types of transactions. So obviously you can see the interplay that kind of happens between the tax payers and the IRS. You've got the tax law, which is basically outline what can happen. You've got the gray area and you've got the, then the taxpayers coming up with basically certain types of transactions that might be designed in part to reduce the amount of taxes that they are paying, hopefully doing so legally. And then the IRS coming back and saying, well, no, I don't think that is legal. I think you're misinterpreting the way the law is written and you're doing something that possibly uh, is illegal in order to avoid taxes illegally and then possibly court cases happening. The IRS then trying to build up a case to go after types of transactions. And as they win cases, if they do win cases, then their stance and their position becomes stronger.